Hey YouTube, it's Christoph and welcome to another video about the ZV-1 and this time I wanted to convince you that the Sony GP VPT-2BT, it's a mouthful, is not the right buy. Let's see why. Well, a few reasons why. Uh, first of all, I believe it's very expensive. The retail price in the UK is £170. Uh, of course, if you buy it bundled, with the ZV-1, it would cost allegedly 90 pounds less, which means still, it's still pricey, it's still around uh, 90 as well, so uh, give or take uh, 80 pounds. So it's a lot of money. I mean, what you could do instead, what you should do, I believe instead, is to go for this, which is a remote commander. It's called the RMT P1BT, and to go for something like this. This is a CRE uh, tripod. So again, there's other options. This one is quite pricey. This one costs roughly 75 pounds, so probably, I don't know, 85 dollars. And this remote, again, is roughly around 65 pounds on Amazon UK, so probably around 75 dollars uh, in the US. But again, uh, if you add both, you're not far off from uh, the official retail price of this other device. So first of all, I'm very happy to report that this remote is compatible with the ZV-1. I couldn't find any information anywhere. I reached out on Twitter as well to Sony in the US. They never responded, but I confirm you can pair it very easily and, uh, and it's working. So, uh, which means that when you use that, you can do pretty much everything that the other remotes, the GP VPT 2BT can do. But the beauty here is of course, it's even more portable or versatile. You can have it in your pocket, you can trigger it very discreetly. So uh, according to me, it's a much better buy. I mean, the quality is not great, the way it's built, I think it's very plasticky. For the price, for the price, they could have done better. I'm not sure about the durability as well, but it's working very well. And again, like you um, have on the other handle, you've got access to a lot of options. So here you can lock it, which is quite useful. And here you can use like a different things again for a focus or for a zooming and on photo and video. And last but not least, like on the other one, you can of course control all of that, um, press the shutter or half press, and you get access even to the C1 um, customizable button. So again, you can trigger pretty much everything from your ZV-1, so it's a great buy. I bought it like long time ago for the A6400, but I'm gonna use it much more with the ZV-1, so I find it great. And again, one of the other issues with the ZV-1 is that it's uh, it's quite tight for a vlogging uh, camera. 24 millimeters, even less if you use the stabilization, probably more around 30 or 33 even. Um, so that's pretty tight. So what you wanna do is to keep it as far as possible as you. So if I, for instance, stretch my arm, the giant arms here. I feel like camera conspiracy now. Um, it, it's it's a decent angle, but again, I can't hold it like that for too long. I mean, it's uh, puts a lot of strain on your arm. So what you want to buy? It's like a very portable mini tripod that could help you again. But I strongly believe in super light, super portable. I don't want something big and cumbersome. So one of the key best tripods you could buy is that one. I don't know if you're gonna see here. I wish I had the product feature. Uh, and by the way, you can have the same kind of product uh, mode feature on the A6400, you just need to uh, customize it a bit better. This is the Siri 3T35. So I'll put everything in the description, of course. But that one is pretty great because you can, you can just fold it. So this is again, how big it is or how small it is, it's my hand. It's pretty good. And what you could do as well, you can extend it a bit. So I extend it a bit here and I can also extend it like this, you see, it's pretty good. Uh, that's quite pricey though. It's still uh, in the UK around 75 pounds, probably around 85 dollars in the US. And uh, there's also some mechanism here to stabilize it. To, uh, so it's a great tripod. Uh, it's working super well, very portable. And again, you can fold it. So 75 pounds, so 85 dollars, give or take. That's a great option here. Another option is uh, an option recommended by Casey from uh, Camera Conspiracy, and it's the Anchor Capsule Adjustable Tripod Stand. I think there's different name for it, but I'm gonna share the link in the description. And basically that one, I don't have it. I could buy it and review it if you wanted to, but uh, Casey uh, gave his seal of approval, so I think there's uh, no point doing it. So this other one is 33.99 pounds, so 34 pounds in the UK, probably around 40, 45 dollars in the US. So that's much cheaper than that one. Again, I can't comment because I don't have it, but I believe that one of those tripods, so maybe the cheaper one, plus this remote, that's a perfect combo. 
That's much better than the official handle than they sell with it. Et voilà. So I hope this video was helpful. Please share your comments, suggestions and questions in the comment section below because I'm producing a lot of content about the ZV-1. But I need, of course, your guidance if there's something very useful or you're intrigued so please ask me and I'll try to do a video of course it's very important to keep me here uh, motivated to give me a big like if you can to subscribe to help the channel and also click the bell icon that'd be much appreciated and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching and bye guys